We're back again with another landing challenge. This time it's a little different. I challenged my viewers to land on top of ATC towers. Again, join the Discord below if you wanna be involved in the next one. Let's go ahead and get started. First entry by Mark. Let's check him out. He's in a Harrier and he is in Roblox. The harder the sim, the harder you make the challenge, and then of course how good you do it is all a factor. So everything matters in the rating system. Here we go. And okay, buddy. Two thousand years later. Here we go. Shout out to Aaron Rines. Thank you, man. Ooh, what is this, guys? What sim is this? This almost looks like another Roblox thing with the mouse. I don't know. What was that noise? <gasps> I, we got to give him credit for he stopped number one, but also he didn't do VTOL. I'll give that a a. Five. He did crash. He would have died. I'll give it a five though. We have Junko next. Junko is very active in the Discord server. Let's see. Okay, we are in a cub and we are in Microsoft Flight Sim. Good. There's no audio in a lot of these. Do y'all not have audio? I'm confused. That was not edited. Here we go. This is by Space. Let's check him out. Ooh, the Red Bull. We got the Red Bull Cub. I like this. Where's his flaps? He's got no flaps. got no flaps at least give me some flap action man look at our, our little pilots fine wait let's watch that one more time you put some flaps out man you can fly a lot slower and crash that's like a uh it's like a four out of i mean that's like a three out of ten i gotta be honest that's like a three out of ten dude helicopter zero that doesn't count cheater cheater citation landing on haneda okay so it seems that haneda was the biggest tower that y'all found in microsoft flight team because there's been a few here here we go citation on haneda here he is. Dang! He actually did it. He did it, man. He did it. Uh, that was... I would say that was, I give that a 9 out of 10. That's still impressive. This is uh, the Red Bull plane again. This seems like a popular choice. And this is Haneda again. Okay, so let's see if this is better than the last Red Bull one. This plane can definitely do it, you know. It's landed on a helipad in real life, so... Ooh! Ooh, that, that deserves a replay. That was smooth. Watch how smooth. I mean, that wasn't like smooth, but it was smooth for what it is. You know what I mean? Dang, that's tough. That's tough. I want to say the citation was a little more impressive, but this was just smoother. 8.9. Not as good as citation, but definitely a good landing. Good job. Oh my God. Okay. Ford tri-motor. We paused it perfectly with the lightning. This is the Ford tri-motor. Haneda again. Let's see. In the rain. So y'all were doing live weather, huh? That's wild. Here he goes. Let's see. This is um very, very uh, climactic, cinematic. Here he goes. He's about to stall. Not, not bad. Really not bad. I will give him. So we gave 8.9 to the last guy, which was much smoother, but also was daytime. And it was the plane that's easier. I'll give him a... I'll give that a... We gave the, the citation a 9. So it can't be a 9. I'll give that an 8.9 as well. Okay. Um, We have a... Looks like a 152. Again, Haneda. I'm telling you guys. If someone did... Does something besides Haneda in Microsoft Flight Sim or X-Plane or whatever. Then that's, that's going to be a good score. Wait. Whoa. He's got some speed coming in here. We're looking at 70 some odd knots. How did he stop so fast? Watch, watch the airspeed drop. Watch the airspeed drop. I won't say anything. Watch when it drops, when he touches. Watch. 75, 74, 73, zero. Hmm. Something weird is going on there. Uh, three out of 10. Oh my. What is this edit? Wait, wait, wait. Restart. Okay, that's not not really an ATC tower, but you know, for the effort of the edit, I'll I'll, I'll let it count. Okay, new plan. Here we go. For the effort of the edit, okay, he's going diagonal. Gotcha. He actually really put a lot of effort into this. I appreciate that. That's very very nice of him. Here we go. Okay, 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 okay. He okay. He realized. He realized. Good for him. <laughs> I'm gonna. He deserves something. That was a lot of effort. I'll give that a four out of ten. That was a lot of effort. Next up, we have. Uh, Boeing expert. He is in some kind of citation. And this is... What sim is this? 
Is this Project Flight again? I think it is. Here we go. There's our tower. Let's see what happens. Air Spirit 28. <laughs> How does plane stay up there? That's actually kind of impressive that his plane stayed up there. I give him a 3.2 out of 10. His plane stayed up there. He died, you know. Next up, we have uh, Microsoft Flight Sim. This is Shred Nation. Let's see. What's he got for us? Recording the screen. Here we go. The uh, Red Bull Cub again. It looks like Haneda again. Oh, a little laggy. Oh, up. Oh. Tilt it forward. I mean, that wasn't the worst. It wasn't the worst. Uh, four out of 10. Next up, this is H2O. Ooh, okay, and we are in Microsoft Flight Sim with the F-35. Ooh, different airport, finally. I don't know where this is. If anyone knows what airport this is off the top of their head, let me know. Here we go. F-35B. Guys, oh, he also, he's not using the pure VTOL mode. He's using the like short takeoff. Yeah, that's like the short takeoff uh, mode and he's glitching through it. He's got to get a little better than a two. I'll give him a uh, 3.5 because that definitely is harder than just straight up landing straight down on it. Ooh, very bog. And he is in the... Well, he's doing some aerobatics. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We got to check this out, guys. Doing some aerobatics. Let's see. Under a little crosswalk thing. Yeah, I think this is Haneda again. Which I'm pretty sure it is. Here we go. Ooh, that takes some skill. That takes some skill, because I tr I've tried this for the uh, the Red Bull helipad. That takes some skill, man. It really does. Not bad, dude. Uh, I will give that a. I'll give it a nine out of ten. Ooh, another. Okay, another cub. Are we at a different? airport i think we are nice i love some variety you know and remember guys uniqueness stands above all else the more unique and interesting you make it the better so here we go three oh he has essentially no headwind three degree or three three degrees three knots of headwind so essentially nothing let's see i don't know what airport this is this looks like it's in the u.s it's a united hangar so it's gotta be he's staying right on the edge of stalling you can see the kid is not even registering airspeed 36 knots 35 and touch oh he could have done it he braked a little too hard he really could have done it though well now it's now it's glitching because it's a atc dark I i'll give that a six because he really could have done it i think he was going slow enough i think he could have done it you know Ooh, another caravan one in microsoft flight sim please rate every landing of the three i'm gonna rate your best one my friend we got a caravan wait he said 29 knots of headwind right i wonder why he's using this angle i wonder if that helped him maybe it was because you could see exactly how close you were i don't know 29 knots of headwind why does it say his true airspeed is one knot and then there's Okay, let's watch that again. Little, little steep. I think if he came in a little shallower, even better. 900 feet per minute. And uh, he stopped. That, I mean, that deserves some credit. That deserves some credit. 6.5. Next up, we have... Ooh, okay. Ooh, is this a different airport? Lieutenant River is in a cub. And he is flying at a different airport. Is this... Uh, this is like in Arizona, maybe? It looks like Arizona. We got a cub. We got a cub, 26 knots, and, oh, upside down. Uh, oh, this is Vegas, this is Vegas. 4.8, okay, now we have Will Joyce. This is Microsoft Flight Sim, right? I don't know, dude, I don't know what this is. Tell me, someone tell me. Oh, a little laggy, and a little, definitely a crash. Not, I was gonna say a little bit of a crash, definitely a crash. Curtis Jenny, interesting, 34 knots of headwind. I mean, he stopped up there. 4.9. Uh, so Bacon submitted one late. Let's see. Very late landing. So he even did the edit. That's crazy. And what is that? If he lands there, that's actually kind of impressive. Let's see. That's actually kind of impressive if he lands on top of that thing. Okay. He didn't really show the end. He kind of cheated, to be fair. And he's definitely falling off there. I I'll give that a four. I'll give that a four. Okay, here we go. VL3 by Fred. It looks like he's on the verge of stalling. Where's the tower? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's a cool tower. Where is that? Oh my gosh. And he stopped. Oh, he did another one in the cub. 
Same idea. Three out of 10 for both. So there we go. That was y'all's. Um, let me do mine, but I'm going to go try it myself and we'll see. So as promised, here's my attempt. We did it in a 737-600. This is the PMDG one. My game kept crashing on stream, so we ended up just doing this off stream. Uh, but here we are. We're at Haneda, like most other people did. I got our camera set up. Here's our tower. There's our 737. This is with 50 knots of headwind, 5-0, just for full transparency. And it was a little bit of a crash, but we did it. So now it's your guys' job. Comment below, did I win or did people from the stream win? Let me know what you think. And make sure to join the Discord as well.